What is up everybody? I'm a Shopify developer from Germany and today's mission is to turn this pretty boring looking 404 page into something like this. These are a bunch of different versions you can technically do and we're gonna decide to go with this one today and yeah, I just say we get right into it. Me and many other developers uh, already switched to this app called Section Store. It's a component library with over 320 fully customizable Shopify exclusive components and the section we will be having a look at today, which is gonna make our lives a lot easier, is this one. It's the 404 number two page. And yeah, instead of charging my clients hundreds of dollars, which you actually don't need me to, you can get this one for a one-time fee of $9. That means if you bought it once, you also own it forever, and you have all those customization options, you can design it the way you want, and yeah. Let's click on my sections right here after you successfully got the section. Now we're gonna look for the 404, add it to the theme we're using. In my case, it is the Dawn Live theme, but it does work on every theme, so don't worry about that. Simply scroll all the way up again. And here we're gonna go to this main panel right here, navigate on over to the 404 page. That is the one we saw in the beginning of the video. And here we're gonna click on add section, type in 404. And that is the one we saw in the beginning of the video already. And here we can technically stop this here. We see the, so we could not find that page. And now I wanna, first of all, do some work to this. And I wanna click on that. I wanna decide the scrolling speed. It's gonna be a bit slower than that. Now I wanna decide the speed, how it's gonna be on mobile. If it's gonna pause on hover, I don't want that. I want it to go all the way through. And the text size is something I would like to change. I wanna make it a bit bigger. The image I'm gonna add, is going to be the logo of my store. So I'm gonna put in this, you can see. And now I also wanna change the color of my text. So we can see a little bit of hierarchy going on there. Yeah, that is what we like. And yeah, now I wanna change the text as well. So we could not find that page. Instead of, sorry, we do error. We could not find this page. And here we can also customize the heading color, for example. This is something which is also possible. And here we can click on continue shopping and that button is gonna bring us all the way back to the beginning page. So we wanna, let's check this real quick. This button is gonna bring us to one of our collections actually. Let's go to all collections. So we will end up at that page again. And yeah, now we click on the main block itself. We can give it a little border if we want to, section background, if we wanna have something more beige. So it's gonna, continue with this section right here, but I want it to stand out a bit more. So I'm gonna pick this green tone, not the prettiest design, I have to admit, but yeah, I just wanna give you some customization ideas of how this whole thing works. If I don't want it to be full width, that is also possible, then I can give it some padding on the sides or also margin. So here we can see, now it's gonna get like this, but I do like it full width. Just another option I would like to show you. Now we're gonna save it all up and have a look at it in the live store. Let's just go for the 404. And an even better way instead of that is just to type in something messed up and it's gonna direct us to this one. So here we can see the store already and we're just gonna get rid of this one as well. So something which is easily done. So now this is not getting shown anymore. And then we got ourselves that 404 page we wanted to, and here we already did it. Here we can even stop that. That is also possible. And yeah, that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. Hope you guys found it useful. If you did, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. And with that being said, have a good one and peace out.